number one in Texas. 13 Eyewitness News. With Dave Ward, Bob Allen has sports, weather with Ed Random, and Action 13's Marvin Zindler. Now, 13 Eyewitness News tonight. Good evening, friends. The man who calls himself the Texas Blue Bandit, who all day long climbed the Allied Bank Tower, proved to be an elusive bandit, at least for a short while tonight. Just before reaching the top of that building, the man in the clown outfit jumped. Hearts skipped a beat until a parasail broke his fall. Sylvan Rodriguez was one of hundreds of people who watched from below. Sylvan? Dave, it was without a doubt one of the most exciting nights that downtown Houston has ever seen. Just minutes before that jump, there was electricity in the air. The streets were blocked. A fire engine and ambulance brought in. Police confirmed he had a parasail and was about to use it. Now watch this. At about the 68th floor, he prepares for the jump, extends his arms, and then comes down. This reporter thought he was jumping to his death. He free fell for about 20 stories, headed straight for the crowd below. The surprise came when that sail opened up. It appeared he was going to crash into one of the buildings nearby. He veered away and then floated to a fast landing and then was promptly arrested. Now here's another angle on that fall. The dozen dots at the top of the building are police officers who knew by this time that he was going to jump. The mood below turned from festive to horrified as he fell. Loud yells rang out when the parasail filled with air. It was at a very fast rate that he headed first towards Tranquility Park, then for what might have been a prearranged landing point. Witnesses say that two men and a woman were waiting for the Texas Blue Bandit. And now yet another look. Dave, earlier he spoke with reporters on the 28th floor. Why are you doing this? What are you going to do when you get to the top? Well, he was right there. He told us also that he had an American flag and a Texas flag, which he unfurled about an hour before his jump. Why he did this stunt that was truly death-defying? Well, he said, because I have never done it before, and I wanted to try it at least once. And he's done. I guess the suction cups are still sticking up there on the side of the They're building. up there, and it appeared the flags were up there. He left some things. He left in a hurry, Dave. Okay. Thank you, Sylvan, for that report. Well, it has been a real secret as to the identity of the climber, police officially carrying one name, but there seem to be several aliases here. Stephen Gauvain has more in this live report from the city jail. Stephen? Well, Dave, it has been a long day, and the Blue Bandit has finally been identified by police as 21-year-old David Adcock. And we're told that he does have uh, at least one alias. He told police uh, Stanley Stewart was the name that he has used. At the time of his arrest, he also uh, said that his name was Skip Stanley. Now, Adcock was arrested in the 1,000 block of Louisiana in front of hundreds of cheering onlookers. Crowds gathered almost as soon as Adcock landed. They cheered, and they also chanted to police, let him go, let him go. Uh, but police arrested him anyway and brought him here to Houston Police Department headquarters. Adcock is being charged with criminal trespassing and uh, evading arrest as well. Now his bond has been set at $10,000. Ordinarily that's a little bit high for uh, crimes like this, but it's high for a good reason. We're told by police that Adcock is currently on probation for having committed similar offenses in what they say was a federal park. Now we don't have any information as to where he might have committed several offenses uh, of the, these offenses, uh, but it is uh, true that his bond is set at $10,000. He is currently here in uh, police headquarters uh, waiting to be bonded out. We don't know if uh, that will actually occur or not. So we're standing by here until uh, something happens. Dave? Okay, Steve, we understand that there were some other people who were arrested with him. Were they uh, accomplices? Were they uh, providing a getaway car? Or do we have any information on that? As a matter of fact, I have no information on that at all. Uh, that has not been uh, part of the, the discussion up here uh, at headquarters. Okay, Stephen, thank you for your report. Well, Houston homicide detectives tonight are asking that charges of murder be brought against a man who says that God commanded him to kill his wife and his baby. The severely decomposed bodies of 27-year-old Marilyn Ann McKenzie and her nine-month-old son Stephen, found by police in the Houston motel room last Friday. Police say Benny Roy Hamilton, who claims to be a preacher, returned to the murder site this morning and told him that his wife and baby were possessed by the devil and that God had commanded him to take their lives. Police say Hamilton expected the two to rise from the dead today. That's why he went back to the room. Hamilton told police he beat the baby to death on February 12th and strangled his wife two months later. 
Police say they can't understand how the odor escaped the attention of neighbors and motel personnel for three months. Houston arson investigators tonight have ruled that a second fire to break out in just over a month at an apartment complex for the elderly was an accident caused by careless cigarette smoking. It was last April when the Tremont apartments were engulfed in flames and several elderly residents were taken to a hospital for smoke inhalation. Fire officials blamed that fire on smoking as well. Firefighters were able to contain today's blaze to just one apartment and nobody was hurt, but residents are a bit upset and they're looking for answers. Apartment employees say the residents must realize they're getting older and they should take extra precautions to prevent this from happening again. Over on Houston's southeast side, temperatures were a bit hot today, not because of the weather. A traffic accident on the Gulf Freeway blocked the whole freeway in both directions, stranding thousands of motorists for hours. The traffic was tied up for hours, and along this stretch of I-45, there's no way to get off the freeway because of the guardrails bordering both sides. So it was a case of sitting and waiting it out. Authorities say John McMullen, a delivery driver in Houston, was southbound when he lost control of his vehicle. He slammed through the center median guardrail and into the northbound lane of traffic. There, he was met face-to-face -face with an 18-wheeler transport truck. There were no injuries, but it left McMullen a little bewildered. Yeah, it's amazing. I've... I've driven three and a half years without a ticket even, and here, here I caused a major wreck, or part of it at least. Things were moving again around 4 o'clock, but for thousands of people stuck in traffic that was backed up for miles in both directions, the afternoon was pretty well shot. Doug Tisdale, Eyewitness News. Landmark decisions been handed down by a Houston jury in a pirate video case. We'll have that story and more in just a moment. thing you need is a hassle at the airport. That's why Eastern has one-time check-in. It's like going from the curb directly to your plane. Because Eastern can give you boarding passes for your entire trip the first time you check in. One-time check-in. Eastern's way of wishing you many happy returns. We're Eastern, America's favorite way to fly. There's a new breed of success in Texas. <laughs> New Mercury Cougar, the American automobile that is formed to function, is at your Texas Lincoln Mercury dealer now. With cars like this and a commitment to quality like ours, no wonder sales are up over 300%. Test drive Cougar at your Texas Lincoln Mercury dealer, where you'll be surprised at how much your old car's worth traded in on our Cougar. See the affordable new Cougar now at your Texas Lincoln Mercury dealer. There's a feeling that's been grown. In this country that we love, it's our guts and grit and energy that drive the rise above. Go for it, America. You've got the gusto now. Here's to the guys who are making America great. From the guys who make Schlitz a great American beer. Have a Schlitz, America. You've got the gusto now. As every do-it-yourselfer knows, you can go to a lumber yard for lumber, two more stores for paneling and carpeting, a hardware store for tools and hardware, a paint store for paint, a plumbing shop. You can even go to your brother-in-law for advice. Or you can come to us, Furrow Building Materials. We have everything you need for your project, including advice. Furrow Building Materials. Don't do it yourself without us. In a landmark decision, a Houston jury has found six defendants not guilty of pirating private broadcast signals. Two other defendants in the pirate video case were ordered acquitted before the case even went to the jury. Van Hackett has the outcome on this month-long trial. The trial stems from the night of September 16, 1981, when pirate video on the North Freeway tried to show the Leonard Hearns fight for free to some 3,000 fans who jammed the parking lot and even hung from trees. Just before the main bout, promoters of the fight scrambled the signal and disappointed Pirate Video's fans in the process. The former owners and salesmen of the now-defunct business, which sold antennas and converters to pick up satellite transmissions used by cable companies, were later charged with 152 separate counts of illegal interception of airwaves, as well as copyright and mail fraud violations stemming from a program guide for customers. After only four hours of deliberations, however, all the defendants were found innocent on all counts. 
Defense Attorney David Berg sees the verdict as a message to Congress. I think it's important that this be seen as a clear indication to the Congress of the United States that if people are going to be subjected to criminal liability for selling these antennas or for using them, there has to be a clear law. The jury verdict is uh, very precise on that point. It's a not guilty, and, it in, and the government's theory was that it was unlawful to use or aid anyone in using these antennas. There's just no law, and Congress has to act. From the federal courthouse, Van Hackett, Eyewitness News. Tonight in New York, a recently fired substitute teacher who held 20 of his former students at gunpoint today released the last of his hostages this evening and then shot himself. Authorities say 24-year-old Robert Wicks apparently upset after being fired from his job last week. He wanted revenge. Wicks barged into his former Brentwood Junior High School on Long Island and shot and wounded the principal and a 15-year-old student. He then took 20 other students hostage. The principal was shot in the face, but his condition is listed as satisfactory tonight. But the boy, who was hit in the abdomen, remains in guarded condition tonight. On Wall Street, investors apparently don't feel very confident with the future of the economy, at least not today. It's been predicted that interest rates may start going up again. That caused the Dow Jones Industrials to tumble today. The Dow plunged nearly 16 points today in moderate trading. President Reagan today said he's still opposed to any budget plan that raises taxes beyond the $2.5 billion he's proposed. The president told a meeting of the National Association of Home Builders in Washington he will fight what he calls the deficit doctors who are ready to operate on your wallet. The president says his critics are wrong for advocating higher taxes to cut down the deficit. It was Mr. Reagan's strongest budget statement in weeks. Tomorrow night, the president will host a nationally televised news conference and he will answer questions about the budget. Action 13's Marvin Zeller tonight's looking for that hole in one. In fact, he's looking for it so much, he even fails to heed his own advice. <laughs> That's right, Dave. Believe me when I say I've tried just about everything to lower my score. I even let a sportscaster Bruce Geetson in on some of the gimmicks I've tried to improve my game. This is Marvin Zindler's trunk. Looks like a traveling pro shop. Those jumper cables, try to put a little charge into your backswing? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they tell you how bad it is. I have played golf with folks, and I've seen them hit a ball, and I said, let me use your club. And I'll use it, and I just happened to hit it real good that particular time. I said, how much you want for that club? <laughs> I bought them right off the golf course. What's this? I heard something about a shirt you bought that was supposed to improve your game. That's right. It's supposed to give you more freedom in your back. <laughs> Oh, it's no surprise that I fell for this ad, which states in big, bold letters, NEW, SCIENCE CREATES THE WORLD'S FIRST hole in one BALL. Well, I bought not one, not two, but six dozens of the balls and paid $99 for them. But for some reason, the God Star balls didn't improve my game. So I asked Channel 13 sportscaster Bruce Geetson and the Woodlands pro Mansell Davis to give the balls their best shot. Now, Davis, by the way, has the world's record for scoring the most hole in one. 43, but the God Star balls didn't work for them either. If you saw the uh, the ad on the box where it says the first hole in one ball, would that make you go out and buy it? Well, I think that you know the consumer might, but if if they hit it, Marvin one time, would. <laughs> I went out and bought six dozen of them. <laughs> Marvin. I then showed Bruce and Mansell what happens when I had hit the ball before. Many times I've hit that ball and it's come apart on me. That's when I raised Kane with the company. So it's not a hole in one ball. It's a hole, it's a hole oh, in two ball, right? It's a hole in two balls is right. <laughs> two pieces. <laughs> well, it doubles your odds, and two pieces, one of them might go in. Yeah. I got one more question for you. Yeah. Have you learned your lesson now? You're not going to be buying all those gimmicks at the back pages of the golf magazines? I'll Even though I know it's stupid, and I tell people not to do it, I'll still look for that, that one thing that'll make me play better golf. <laughs> <laughs> How about a lesson? Looks like I'll need a new air piece. The manufacturer, National Golf Center in Connecticut, which is known for selling the hot one, an illegal ball according to USGA rules, refunded my money. Now, they have since discontinued making the God Stars. However, I'm still a sucker when it comes to golf gimmicks. Marvin Zindler, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Mark. I've got an old putter. I bet I could get a hundred bucks from I like the course. suspenders with a golf shirt. That's oh, yes. You always that's have first. To suspenders on the golf course. That's a Marvin <laughs> trademark. Here's Bob Allen who's going to tell us about sports. All right, David. Uh, Rockets may have found their coach. Talk about that in a minute. Wait till I tell you about Eckert's new Express Photo Center. 
You see, when you bring in your film for processing, you just fill out the processing envelope and put the film in it and uh, just drop it in the express box. Easy. Oh, and with System 2 photo processing from Eckerd, you get twice the prints on Kodak paper, twice the film, and twice the guarantee. So uh, why wait? Go to the Express Photo Center at Eckerd now. If you don't like to wait, you're going to like Eckerd. We're going to make sure. Stadia, the look you want in performance basketball, running, and court shoes. At Kinney, the great American shoe store. Stadia! At Kinney, and only at Kinney. There's a certain Southwest spirit. There's one airline in Houston that offers you low fares and more flights to most of our cities than any other airline in America. You're gonna love our Southwest spirit. One airline that serves you with genuine Southwest hospitality, whether you're going to work or going to play. You know who we are, Houston. We're Southwest Airlines. And we have lots of daily flights to Austin, San Antonio, and New Orleans. In Germany, those big, expensive, high-performance cars that cruise the Autobahn are being challenged by a high-performance car that isn't quite so big and isn't quite so expensive. In Germany, the most popular high-performance car is a Volkswagen. Introducing the Volkswagen Rabbit GTI for America. It is a wolf in sheep's clothing. The Houston Rockets talk to the guy that they, they want to be their new head coach, and the guy says he likes the situation down here. My main objective was to, before I put my guts on the line, is to make sure that I'm doing it with the right type of people. And uh, we had a very, very, well, an exceptional meeting this morning in my tournament. Uh, I'm very impressed with Charlie. He, he appears to make, want to make a real commitment to bringing good basketball, entertaining basketball to the to his hometown of Houston. Heinsohn was in Houston today meeting with Rockets owner Charlie Thomas and general manager Ray Patterson. Ray and I was talking here, if, if, if he would commit that he'd do anything to come down here, we'd commit that we'd just do anything to get him down here. Tommy Heinsohn knows personnel better than I do. He's coaching and so forth, so you are right. I think we're starting a good organization. Now, what Heinsohn is doing tonight is taking the Rockets' offer back to his agent in the fall as well. He may be signed by the end of the week. Meanwhile, Patterson says he's going to try to work out some kind of deal with Indiana to assure the Rockets are getting Sampson if they lose the flip on Thursday. They're going to have to pay dearly to do that. Let's go to Dish Falk Field in Austin. Championship game, Southwest Conference Baseball Tournament. Texas against Arkansas. Jose Tolentino at bat for the Longhorns. Hits it to left field, right hand, left handed batter going to left field, grand slam home run. We don't need to see much more than this. Texas beat Arkansas tonight 14 to nothing. Texas goes on to the regionals. Arkansas just probably will get a bid. Major leagues tonight. Let's go to the scoreboard. Only games in the National League tonight. The Mets beat the Pirates 11 to 4. San Francisco at Philadelphia rained out at the Vet. American League, the White Sox and Baltimore, they were rained out too. New York shut out Detroit 7 to nothing. Toronto is tied with Milwaukee. They are in the seventh inning. Texas leading Cleveland 3-1 to one in the seventh. Texas wins this game. They'll be tied for first in the American West. And Oakland leads Minnesota 6 to nothing. They are in the seventh inning as well. Now to the Astro Arena, the first of the ringleaders boxing series. Tonight's benefit for the Texas Heart Institute, Gary Simon and the White Stripes beats up on Al Bubba Thompson, the lightweight. And we go on to another match out at the Astro Arena. Eddie Green in the blue. This is a welterweight match. Now watch the right cross from Green coming up right there. Turn out the lights. The party's over for Alberto Reyes of Mexico. Alberto Reyes loses. Eddie Green wins. With the qualifying rained out last weekend, the talk around the track at Indianapolis was a comparison being made between Houstonian A.J. Foyt and Rick Mears. I've raced a lot of cars, but not been uh, a winner as such. Done well and made a mark for myself, but A.J. was uh, was a winner in, in every type of car that he raced in. Nobody would question the title of A.J. Ford as America's greatest race driver. The man has won more championship series races than anybody in the history of the sport. But this year, somebody has dared to challenge. It's quite an honor to be compared to A.J. Ford. Uh, he's one of the greatest, and 
just, you know, like I, that's all I can say. It's just an honor being compared with him. Without Rick Mears' knowledge, the Pennzoil Racing Team published a press kit which goes to great lengths to compare Mears' first 72 IndyCar races to AJ's. During that time frame, Mears had 17 wins to AJ's 16. Rick Mears and I are good friends, but when Rick Mears come in, you know, he bought himself a, a top-notch ride, uh, number one equipment. But why don't they compare the first eight years and nine years when really I got a decent ride and then look at the statistics. The first couple of years I had, I, I wasn't in a Penske car either. You know, people tend to forget that. But in 1964, A.J. won 10 of the 13 IndyCar races he entered in seven straight. To keep pace, Mears will have to match that mark this season. From the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Tim Melton, Eyewitness Sports. And we'll have the weekend of qualifying here on Channel 13 Saturday and Sunday and the race same day coverage on Memorial Day. David? If it doesn't rain up there this weekend. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. You bet. Speaking of rain, it's time to take a look at the weather. It will be in just a moment. And uh, Ed Brandon took the rest of the night off, so we've got a guest weather forecaster for you. Stay with us. Financing your dream home can be a real nightmare. Then there's the SAM, the VRM, the ROM, the RRM. Any of those sound like the kind of mortgages you have in mind? That's why you gotta see General. Our sales counselors know all about new home financing, so they can show you the home of your dreams and the best way to buy it. It'd be a lot simpler if you could just pay cash. To take the confusion out of new home financing, you gotta see General. There's a certain Southwest spirit. There's one airline in Houston that offers you low fares and more flights to most of our cities than any other airline in America. You're gonna love our Southwest spirit. One airline that serves you with genuine Southwest hospitality, whether you're going to work or going to play. You know who we are, Houston. We're Southwest Airlines. And we have up to 38 flights a day to Dallas Love Field. Trust in TSO for all you need in eyewear. We're there to help you see your world come shining through. You come first at Texas State Optical, and that's why we're number one with you. You come first at Texas State Optical, and that's why we're number one with you. Only Chrysler offers 9.8% financing, the lowest in the industry. Way to go, Chrysler. Only Chrysler offers 9.8% financing or $300 to $400 rebates on select new cars. Way to go, Chrysler. Only Chrysler backs every car it builds for five years or 50,000 miles. Way to go, Chrysler. And Chrysler's got a big choice of front-wheel drive cars. As a Chrysler Plymouth dealer, you know what I say to that. Way to go, Chrysler. You get more at your Houston area Chrysler Plymouth store. Well, as I said, Ed Brandon took the rest of the night off. One feeling too well, but before he left, Ed gave me all the information on the weather on this piece of paper here. It says, take the satellite picture first. We can look at that. So let's look at the satellite picture first. There it is, friends. A great big L over New Mexico there. This is what we look like today from a little over 22,000 uh, miles out in space. There's a frontal system down there in the Gulf. That L's over Colorado, they tell me or somewhere near there. There's a frontal system moving through that area, and you see the arrows there indicating the wind flow. I think there is something to show us. Uh, oh, yes, now the forecast maps. Here you can see that the low pressure just above the, the uh, Texas panhandle there is going to pull some of this. Now, come on, put, them, put it back up. Pull some of this cold air down from the northern areas. And the high pressure, the great H over the Great Lakes there, is going to pull some uh, moisture up from the Gulf of Mexico. And that's going to create some rain showers probably tomorrow in the areas indicated on your national chart there. Now, here's the three-day forecast for the Houston area calling for partly cloudy skies through tomorrow. The official forecast reads clear and cool the remainder of tonight. With increasing cloudiness tomorrow, it'll be cloudy with a slight chance of rain on Tuesday night, about 20% chance. The low tonight, a little cool. It's going to get down to around 55. It'll warm up to the upper 70s, around 78 degrees tomorrow, with the winds from the east, southeast, about 15. On Wednesday, a little cloudier. It's still 20% chance of rain most of the day. Wednesday, it'd be getting a little warmer, too, up to around 80. With uh, winds, oh, good heavens, we're going to put east in there, too. They'll be variable. Then on Thursday, partly sunny skies, a high of about 82 degrees. No chance of rain, according to Ed, and the wind will be light and variable. And we hope you enjoy the weather. Stay with us. We'll have more news here in just a minute. 
here comes Fuji Film with color pictures so true to life, it's a real breakthrough. New Fuji HR Films. Fuji's advanced technology has developed a higher resolution film than we've ever had before. So we give you sharper pictures with truer color than ever before. Get new Fuji HR Films and now Fuji Disc Film and get the true picture. Fuji Film available at Best Products. When you've got chicken on your mind, there's a place with more for you. It's Ron's Crispy Fried Chicken. It's big and tasty, too. You'll, You'll love, love our chicken. chicken. It's flavored to the bone. Ron's the place for a family meal. Bigger pieces and a better deal. At Ron's Crispy Fried Chicken, we'll keep our promise true. At Ron's, we've got more. At Ron's, we've got more for you. Now, Six Flags brings you the longest, fastest, wettest river rapids adventure this side of the Colorado River. New Roaring Rapids. You race through canyons, churning and turning, down one raging rapids after another. When you're in Dallas-Fort Worth, take on the challenge of Roaring Rapids. Only at Six Flags. Still the biggest day full of fun in Texas. Let us take you away. TWA announces an amazing deal. Deal? Deal? I'll be the judge of that. Not only will you get great vacation fares to cities across America... Okay. ...like New York and Philadelphia... Uh-huh. ...and Boston and Washington and St. Louis, you'll get even more. Yeah? Rent a car from budget and get an extra day free. Now, that is an amazing deal. And you don't even have to come dressed like a chicken. Very funny. Finally tonight, with all the hubbub over the Allied Bank Tower climber today, there's at least one guy in town who did make some money out of that deal, with all eyes watching the daredevil make his climb. An enterprising young man named Mike Thing got some blue t-shirts printed up real quick. He was out on the sidewalk hawking his wares as real, soon-to-be, collector's items. We don't know how many of them he sold or what he was charging for them, but after the spectacular ending to that stunt tonight, he could double, even triple his price for these things tomorrow. And it comes at a good time. Mike is an unemployed carpenter, and we wish him the best. We also hope Ed Brandon will be back with us tomorrow night. That's the news for tonight. Thank you for being with us, and good night. You like not having to wait? Well, wait till I tell you about Eckert's new Express Photo Center. You see, when you bring in your film for processing, you just fill out the processing envelope and put the film in it and uh, just drop it in the express box. Easy. Oh, and with System 2 photo processing from Eckerd, you get twice the prints on Kodak paper, twice the film, and twice the guarantee. So uh, why wait? Go to the Express Photo Center at Eckerd now. If you don't like to wait, you're going to like Eckerd. We're going to make sure. Since Houston Lighting and Power is guaranteed a rate of return, what incentive does the light company have to cut costs? The light company believes Mr. Stevenson's question is an important one. That's why we've come out here to give him an answer. Now, Rick, it seems like there isn't really much reason to watch costs if you're assured a rate of return. Well, as it turns out, we're not assured a profit. In fact, because of regulation of our company, the customer is given a guarantee that we'll not make more than a certain amount of money. But you know, our big incentive for holding down costs and operating as efficiently as possible is so we don't have to keep coming back for a rate increase. Because, Alan, you know, when we ask for an increase in these rates, you and three million other people get very angry. And that's no fun for us. Alan, it sounds like your concern about efficiency is shared by Rick and others at the light company who are working to control operating costs. We're Houston Lighting and Power, the light company. Epperman Tracy tonight at 1130 on Good evening. I'm Ted Koppel, and this is Nightline.
Hello, uh, one or two, uh, one or two. Uh. Oh, okay. Castrol GTX featured all Fisher's neighborhood auto parts stores.